and welcome back to my channel I'm JC and today I'm going to be doing um, a tag video that I found on Stephen Partridge's channel it's the anxious author tuber or anxious tuber tag and I um, like a lot of people deal with anxiety as well and so I thought this tag was interesting to do and I'm gonna read the questions straight from my phone so pardon me for looking down continuously um, question number one did you think about opening or starting your channel for months or even years not years but definitely well maybe a year um, I think I've been watching author two for a good well it might have been a good six months before I started interacting in the comment section and then maybe another six months of interacting in the comment section with the other author tubers um, before I actually jumped the leap and started my own channel so yeah about a year um, working around on author two before I thought about starting it because yes you guessed it I was anxious about whether anyone would actually care what I had to say so question two do you ever feel guilty for not filming but too comfortable too uncomfortable excuse me to do so but it makes you feel even more guilty um, I don't feel guilty for not filming because I tend to film batch film. So I film a few videos um, in one day, like today. I'll be filming about five videos worth of videos. So that if by some for some reason I don't feel like shooting another batch set in two weeks, I still have some videos and I don't have to. So I won't feel guilty about it. Um, I don't I don't I wouldn't film if I was uncomfortable I'm, I mean well any more uncomfortable than I already am when I film but um, it's not comfortable for me to be in front of the camera kind of getting used to it but I don't think I'll ever really truly be as comfortable as all of you that I see who make it look so flawless but no I don't feel guilty for not filming and if I if I didn't film I don't think I would film it even if I was uncomfortable yeah so question number three do you question your original topic choices for weeks ending up filming an entirely different video on a whim because you think you're done um I do question the topics or the things that I'm going to film for maybe not weeks but maybe a week um, but by the time I'm ready to sit in front of the camera, um, I don't do any, I don't do most things on a whim. I am a planner. Like, it's ingrained in me to plan out everything. I would not, I wouldn't shoot if I didn't have it planned. I, I don't script, but I do have bullet points. And if I don't have it planned out, if I don't know what I'm going to shoot, I'm not shooting it. So I do not shoot videos on a whim. Um, Number four, do you struggle opening up to other YouTubers for reasons such as I'm not interesting enough, I don't have anything to say, they'll think I'm here for clout, etc. Um, yeah, actually, I, I kind of do. Um, I like interacting with the other author tubers, but some of the bigger author tubers, um, for lack of a better word, intimidate me and not. I'm not saying that in a negative way, they didn't do anything negative towards me or anything. They're very welcoming, very lovely. Um, I've been invited to do live streams, which I believe I'm going to take a couple of them up on soon. Um, I did start a StreamYard account, so dabbling my toe in a little. <laughs> um, but they intimidate me and some of them the a couple of the bigger ones definitely bigger than me, my channel um who have extended an offer for doing live streams I, it's not that i don't want to do it with them it's it's just like i don't i guess i get the feeling that i don't hmm, 
how do I put this? I don't want to do anything to mess up their channel or their audience or their fan base or their, you know, I don't want to make them look bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to bring them down. <sighs> I think you get what I'm trying to say. But uh, it's intimidating when the bigger ones, um, interacting with them because, you know, it's almost like meeting a celebrity in some senses but um they are youtube celebrities i suppose but i'm i'm working on it and i'm trying to get over it and not obsess about it or not overthink things so much because i tend to do that it's part of my anxiety okay question number five do you spend more time preparing for a video, worrying about your looks, what you have to say, your background, or anything else than actually filming and editing? Um, hmm. no, I, I think, well, no, I worry about more, I, I worry more about whether my video is actually going to mean anything to anyone. Um, I, I think that's what I worry about more. If I'm putting out any, anything or putting out parts of myself that will actually inspire someone or mean something to someone that that's kind of what I worry about I don't know if you've noticed but I don't do makeup um I, I don't do it at all period I don't wear makeup at all um not to say that I haven't but I just I don't anymore um I haven't for over well over a decade um I just don't feel the need for it and it's broken out my skin more than necessary so I, I just don't and hope I look beautiful enough as I am and if not I don't know what to tell you I am who I am I don't so I don't waste time on you know the I don't put makeup on um I didn't even think about putting makeup on to do videos because that would not be authentic to who I am. I don't wear makeup in real life. I don't wear it at all. Not even special events or anything. I might wear a lip gloss. That might be the extent of it. So I, if I want to be authentic to you guys, then I'm going to present myself authentically. I do do my hair because I do try to look presentable when I go out hair wise so I do do my hair for you guys um, and sadly it's just in the ball because when I wear my hair out it gets really frizzy and really really big and um, yeah I don't like it like that I keep trying to fight the urge to perm my hair so it could be completely straight which is how I like it but perm breaks my hair off so that was too much information but <laughs> It's the truth and it's authentic. <laughs> Question number six. Do you sometimes black out during filming, not saying anything in front of the camera because you are suddenly questioning your entire life choices and wondering why you ended up here? I don't black out. I do stare off out the window sometimes and daydream. However, you guys don't see that because I edited it out. Um... So I know I don't I don't black out I, I do daydream a little and I make sure to edit that part out so I don't look crazy <laughs> question number seven have you ever cringed so much about a video you've not posted it deleted it buried the memory card in your card and dug it out because it's expensive or and cried for a few hours no um I <sighs> I don't know if I've cringed at videos that I've recorded and edited. Um, there are videos that I have not been thrilled with and felt could have looked better or done better or I could have edited it better, but I didn't let it keep me from posting it. I just kind of said, um, it is what it is and put it out there. If people like it. They like it. If they don't, they don't. I'll work on getting better for the next one. So that, that that's how I've taken it. Um, question number eight. Do you watch or even re-watch your video just to insult yourself in your head 
or on the opposite do you refuse to do so because you know you'll end up insulting yourself in your head I do rewatch my videos before I actually upload them because I want to make sure um, I'm not a video editor it's not my trade I'm not I'm just learning it for the purpose of YouTube so I'm, I'm trying to get better at it, on it as I go so when I edit my videos I do rewatch the, the the video in its entirety before I upload it because I want to make sure that it flows well enough it's not going to be perfect because again that's not my trade but I want to make sure it flows well enough I want to make sure I didn't leave anything in that I didn't intend to leave in or that I took everything out that needed to be taken out um, without taking out all of my mistakes because I'm human and to take out all of my mistakes would be inauthentic so I do leave some of my mistakes in there because it's me um, I don't insult myself though I do acknowledge where I could have done better or I could have said this better or I could have you know I, I analyze to try to work on being better for the next time so question number nine do you feel guilty when you promote your work on social media absolutely I'm the worst at promoting myself I can promote everyone else all day every day multiple times a day I, I can promote, promote my friends work um, or uh, even other author tubers on here I love promoting their work um, but mine when it comes to me I kind of it's like oh oh yeah yeah my stuff <laughs> I forgot I have stuff um I it feels so weird talking about myself and like pumping myself up and and I know it's what I have to do because as a person who's going to be a self-published author if I don't talk about me or my stuff who else will if I can't do it who, who's going to but it does feel weird it feels a little <sighs> egocentric and um, I know that it's not it's just in my head but that's that's usually where my train of thought goes it's like I can't talk about me <laughs> so I know it's something I need to get out of but <sighs> it's easier said than done I'm working on it though so question number 10 last question did this tag make you reconsider your entire YouTube channel no um, I, I, I have ideas for my YouTube channel down the road, but it didn't make me reconsider anything. Um, it, it always makes me, these tags and these other things that I get inspiration from always make me think of how I can make my channel better, but it didn't make me reconsider my channel. I think I have a pretty nice channel, if I don't say so myself. And again, going back to the, I don't like to promote myself. Like, uh, I guess it's a nice channel. I think so. But, uh, yeah, so, so that's it for this video. Um, again, you can find the, I uh, post the questions for the Anxious Author Tuba tag in the description box, along with the link to Stephen Partridge's channel, which is where I got them from. And you can check it out. Maybe you'd like to do it. And... Drop in the comments if you decide to do it. I want to see. And that's it for this video. And I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day. Bye.